Good morning dear students. I am Dr. G. V. Otari, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, KIT's College of Engineering, Kolapur. Today, I am going to have a session on Unit 1, Introduction to Computer Graphics. In this unit, we are going to learn the definition of computer graphics, process of computer graphics and various applications of computer graphics in our day to day life. So, let us see the formal definition of computer graphics. Computer graphics is the use of computer to define, store, manipulate and present pictorial output. Thus, in computer graphics, we first define the object which we want to draw like line or a triangle by specifying the coordinates of that object. Then the coordinates of the object are stored in the memory in order to draw the object on a, your output device. Then we manipulate the object by performing various types of transformations like rotation, reflection, scaling, etc. And the result of performing the transformations is represented, it is presented on your screen, on your output device in the form of pictorial output. There are four steps of generating the computer graphics. Step 1 is to represent a picture. Step 2 is to prepare the picture for presentation. Step 3 is prepare, uh, pre, uh, presenting the previously prepared picture and step 4 is interacting with the picture we have presented on the screen. Now, let us see the steps of generating the computer graphics. The first step of generating the computer graphics is representing the pictures. In computer graphics, algorithms accept picture data as polygons or edges which are in turn represented by points. Thus, points are the fundamental building blocks of picture representation. The algorithms which are used to explain how these, are, uh, how these points are organized are of equal importance. For example, a unit square can be represented by using four corner points P1, P2, P3 and P4. The coordinates of P1 are 0, 0, coordinates of point P2 are 1, 0, coordinates of point P3 are 1 comma 1 and P4 0 comma 1 respectively. And the algorithm which is used to draw a unit square can be in the form like connect P1, P2, P3, P4, P1 in sequence. Each of these points are represented by either pairs in two dimensional space or triplets in three dimensional space. In two dimensional space we have two coordinates x and y and in three dimensional space we have three coordinates x, y and z. The second step of generating the computer graphics is preparing the picture for presentation. In this step, picture information is stored in a file called as database file. These complex database files, they contain data organized in various ways which we usually refer to as data structures. The position of the point can be represented in two ways either by using absolute coordinates or relative coordinates. Absolute coordinates are the coordinates which are represented with respect to the origin 0, 0 of your coordinate axis. Whereas relative coordinates are the coordinates specified with respect to the previous known position. The coordinates both absolute as well as relative, they can be either represented by using real numbers or integers. If integers are used, the, we get limited word length. To solve this problem, we use homogeneous coordinate system wherein an n dimensional space is represented by n plus 1 dimension. For example, a two dimensional position vector p with coordinates x comma y can be represented as x comma y comma h in a homogeneous coordinate system where h is a homogeneous coordinate. Third step of generating computer graphics is presenting previously prepared pictures. In this step, data used to present the picture is usually called display file. Display file contains only part or view or scene of the picture which is represented by total database file. The displayed picture is usually formed by performing various transformations such as a rotation, reflection, scaling, etc. on the selected data. We can also apply various types of other transformations like hidden line or surface removal, shading, transparency, texture or color effects. 
on the final before the final presentation. We can perform clipping as well as windowing and viewporting on the final. As we all are aware, computer graphics is used in our day to day life. So, what are the applications of computer graphics? Applications of computer graphics can be splitted into four major areas. Computer graphics can be applied for displaying the information, for designing, for simulation, as well as for creating various user interfaces. We use computer graphics for displaying various architecture, architectural drawings, for example, plan of building or creating the model of aircraft or a vehicle. We can use computer graphics for displaying the geographical information in the form of maps. We can use computer graphics for plotting various statistical graphs, example share prices in the form of bar charts, pie charts, etc. We can also apply computer graphics for displaying various medical images like CT scan images, MRI images as well as to display the scientific results in the form of graphs, charts, etc. We can also use computer graphics for interaction purpose like we use various, we develop various applications like CAD CAM application, uh, VLSI application for designing various electrical circuits. We can also use computer graphics for creating various types of simulators for example, flight simulation for training pilots, vehicle simulation for teaching the drivers to drive the, we use computer graphics for creating various games. We use computer graphics in television as well as computer animated films as well as the most recent application of computer graphics is in creating virtual environment in the form of virtual reality. We also use computer graphics for creating various interfaces like windows based operating system, windows, Microsoft windows, Macintosh, X windows as well as we use computer graphics for creating various types of internet browsers like explorer, netscape etc. Figure shows a typical graphics system comprising of various elements like input device, central processing unit, graphical processing unit, memory, frame buffers and output devices. Input devices are used to take the input from the user to define the coordinates of the object which we want to display on the output device. Based upon the input given by the user, the central processing unit and the graphical processing unit will apply the algorithm for displaying the corresponding object, which is then supplied to the frame buffer to store the processed information. The process information is then displayed on the output device. At present, almost all graphic systems are raster based. A picture is produced from an array of picture elements. This array is called as a raster and the smallest element within a picture is nothing but a pixel. So, figure shows the representation of a picture in the form of array of pixels. So, if we zoom the selected area from the picture, we can see the array of pixels on the right side of the slide. Pixels are stored in a part of memory called as frame buffer. So, frame buffer is a contiguous piece of memory where we store the pixel information. The detail that you can see in the image depends upon the resolution that is the number of pixels in the frame buffer. The depth or precision of the picture depends upon the number of bits that are used for each pixel. It determines the properties such as how many colors can be represented on a given system. A 1 bit deep frame buffer has been shown in the figure with only 2 colors. As shown in the figure, only 1 bit single bit is used to represent the value of a pixel. A pixel value 0 indicates dark color, pixel value 1 indicates light. Figure shows a 3 bit frame buffer with 2 raised to 8 different shades of red, green and blue colors. An 8 bit deep frame buffer allows 2 raised to 8 colors whereas a full color frame buffer consisting consists of 24 bit plane frame buffer. 
high dimensional range system uses 12 or more bits for each color component. 